what we're looking at here is a function to return all of the longest strings from an array that has strings in it. So if there's the longest one is 10 characters, we're gonna turn all the 10 character words that's in that string array. I actually wrote this when I was learning to code about six, seven years ago, which really makes me feel kind of old and how time flies, but that's a separate story. Now, what we're gonna do right now is utilize some of the variable names and the function names to eliminate some of these comments and have a more readable code base. So it's gonna be some good practice. So let's eliminate some comments that really we don't need. Now let's talk about start from the top and work our way down. If you have to leave a comment for what a function does, oftentimes you have a very poor name or the function is too large. In this case, this is a fairly small function. So I think our name is actually incorrect. And longest string sounds singular. We're not returning longest string, we're returning longest strings. And because it's a git and we want to standardize our calls, maybe a better name here would be git longest strings. We know it's returning something. We know it's returning the longest of something, and we know it's returning plural here, hence the plural. Now here, initialize the long string to the first value. We don't really need this initialize, but this variable name here, let length, length could be anything. Length is a very generic name. What would be a better name? Maybe longest word length, because that's what we're gonna use it for down below. We're gonna have this placeholder variable that we're gonna go and set for anywhere that gets updated. So let's go ahead and make those changes real quick. Now that we have that, we have this other comment, checks if current string is longer than the current longest. Is this an overly convoluted if statement? To me, this looks like a very singular purpose. It's very straightforward. Is the longest word length less than the current word length? I don't think this needs a comment. This is a perfect example of something that doesn't need a comment, right? This reads very clearly. We set the longest word length. We compare the longest word length in a for loop. This shouldn't be something that needs to be commented. I understand if it's your first programming class, but down the road, not so much. Now, same thing here. Is this filtering? Yeah, filter. Take our array, filter. It's the word dot length equal to the longest word length. We don't really need that. Now, where we can make an improvement is STRs. That's sort of generic. What about longest words? So what we've done here is we've eliminated comments that we now have to maintain, there that we had to maintain. We eliminated some comments that really didn't really have any other purpose to, to describe this if statement's very straightforward, very simple. And we updated our variable names and our functions names to be more readable. And now we have less code we have to maintain. In my opinion, it's more readable. And we've simply applied the function and variable naming to our better comments, which in this case is actually removing a lot of comments. Let's go ahead and look at some other examples. 